Hello my dear young guy and energetic physio donor Ami. A very warm welcome to the Chha Vedanto YouTube channel. I am your master teacher Neha Mama and today in today's session I will be giving you the most important questions, most important topics that are required for your 10th board examination from physics. Okay. So you can see over the slide you can score 55 on 55. So last minute preparation tips. From so many days, we are guiding you, we are helping you, we have solved the PYQ, one shot, everything is done. So now, what's that last, time, last minute preparation that you require to tell you that I have bought today's session? So let's start today's session without any delay. So yeah, so just to answer these questions, I was seeing, you were asking me in the comments, in the chat, Ma'am, which are the important topics, important questions? How to attend the paper? Am I able to score good marks? Will be 10th board exam tough? To solve all of these queries, I have bought today's session and I will be discussing how to attend your paper, especially physics. How to cater the paper in your examination, I will be discussing in today's session. So, don't worry about that and let's start today's session. Yeah. So, Analyzing your question paper, you know that your question paper consists of these five sections, right? Section A will be having one mark question, B two mark, C three and D five mark and E will be having four mark questions. So, let's break it down and let's analyze one by one. So, this is extremely important. So, listen to my words and note it down. Yeah. So, I am going to tell you the important topics. That doesn't mean that you should not read the rest of the things. Why I am telling this? So that you can more focus over here. Right? Everything has to be studied. But if you are asking which I should stress more. So I am going to tell those topics in the session. Let's start one by one. Section A MCQ. From physics especially you will be. You can expect less questions in the MCQ. There will be just two questions. One assertion reason kind of questions out of four which will be appearing at the end of the MCQ session, right? So, two MCQs, question, one assertion reason. From where you can expect, okay? It's not definitely it will be from here. It has been seen there. So, giving a general idea what has been going on since past years, right? So, first one question you can expect from electricity chapter back to numerical. What kind of numerical? Simple one marker numerical. Power will be given, energy has to be calculated or resistance calculation. Very simple basic numerical. Don't worry about that. You can do that. Okay. Or else the percentage calculation, voltmeter reading, these kind of questions I have already discussed in the session, right? Very easy. Little bit of you want knowledge, okay? But that will be from numerical. And one will be from magnetic field that will be based on direction. They may give you the direction of current and they may ask the direction of magnetic field or based on force concept, right? If the MCQ question comes from light chapter, from this section it will be. It will be based on your components of spherical mirror or focal length and uh, uh, yeah, radius of curvature formula f is equal to r by 2 or else sign convention positive negative. Uh, these directions, okay, if it comes from light, it may be from these topics. Coming towards assertion series in question, it's always seen that the question arises from magnetic fields of electric current chapter and that too uh, will be based on uh, if I change the magnetic field, what happens to the current or what will be the force, is force zero if it is perpendicular, parallel, these kind of questions, you know, right? Or else the directions again. So, directions are important in magnetic field concept. Is that clear? Yes. This is about MCQ. That is first section which will be having almost maximum three questions. Two from MCQ, one assertion reason. The second part B consists of very short answer of two marks. And you can expect two physics questions from this section. And where will be they for? One, it may be from human eye chapter. Well, what concept it may be? It may be dispersion, scattering or defects of vision. Two marker question from human eye. Right? And from electro another question will be from electricity. 
based on ohm's law vi graph right so it will be around these question so not big question as there one two mark small small concepts will be tested in first two section right moving forward section 3 short answer three marker and from physics you can expect three questions from section c you can see one mark two mark questions are less but in section 3 you can expect three questions and where will be they from one you can expect from light chapter your numerical to calculate the object distance image distance magnification so these formulas numericals are important it may come in three mark question so ma'am will it be definitely in the three marker where is if it is not in three it can go to five it can go somewhere else but these are the important topics okay it will be there in your paper somewhere or the other place that's all the difference right light is done electricity section 3 electricity may be from domestic electric circuit right so that's also important magnetic field solenoid concept is important over here i'm just giving you the important concepts but b study good everything okay moving forward to section d that is five marker questions right so in section d from where you can expect the question you can expect here right here one question in section d right it may be from light chapter or magnetic effects chapter so be good with that coming towards section e case based question of four marks okay and yeah from where we can get the section e question it may be from electricity cost calculation heat that is joule's law resistance combination series parallel and all or else it may be from light chapter also is that clear to everyone it may be from light chapter again the formulas and all so refractive index concept is also very important i hope that's clear right i'm just quickly giving you the glance of your paper moving forward analyzing everything what are the important topics finally from each chapter so I, it is over your screen so see your numerical that is mirror formula lens formula magnification power power is of lens is easy you can do that right and next coming is ray diagram ray diagrams are also extremely important and you can expect the ray diagram around 3 to 4 uh, big large marks only right so maybe in the section c or d moving forward from human eye defects of vision is important then comes applications of this uh, dispersion atmospheric refraction why sky is blue why stars twink twinkle and uh, delayed suns early sunrise and delayed sunset these kind of questions scattering of light these topics are important moving forward resistance resistance in series combination resistance in parallel combination or is the formula of resistance r is equal to rho l by a these are the important topics moving forward laws joule's law ohm's law they are also important yeah power and cost calculation power calculation p is equal to v into i p is equal to w by t p is equal to e by t So remember all these formulas. Cost calculation. I have discussed this, right? This is also important. Moving towards magnetic effects of electric current. Solenoid is extremely important. Then comes the hand rule. Okay, it may be right hand thumb rule or Fleming's left hand rule. Hand rules are important because directions are asked in the papers many times, right? Domestic electric circuit. This is also important. They may ask you about the tungsten fuse. right about live wire and all so domestic electric domestic electric circuit is also important so these are the important topics you were asking me about important topics so i have made the list over your screen you can see that if you want to take a screenshot you can take i'll just move a side yeah so yeah before ending the session let me give you some idea some helpful tips to attend your physics paper so in physics i can broadly classify into three sections that is one is direct definition and formula direct concept what you have studied writing that direct concept one applications applications is nothing but where your understanding is tested it is not very direct but it can be doable if you know if you really understand the concept 
getting my point one is directly by hunting and writing that everybody can do but the second step is understanding understanding if you are good with that you can do that and third will be our numericals so i can broadly classify your physics into these three categories direct question direct definitions or easy one and then little understanding application based then numericals so yeah this was about today's video i hope this will help you as your exams are going to be happen so all very all the best for your exams i hope you all do well in your exams and yeah this was about today's video before ending the session let me tell you if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share the videos with your friends and subscribe the channel if you are not yet yeah this was about today's session so thank you so much guys for watching today's video let's meet again in the next session in the next session i want you to be telling me ma'am we have done the exam very great it was very good right so yeah this was about today's session thank you so much for watching this video let's meet again in the next session and bye